What's up, though? <laughs> What's up, you guys? And welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, Jelly, and your boy. Big Lex. You know how we flex. Let's do it. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know y'all just tapped in. The first to the party, all right? We got all of the best for y'all, the trends and the angles, all right? Look, last week, oh, my God, there was a bunch of bad beats. Don't even really want to talk about it. Uh, we went two and three in our video picks. Womp, womp, whatever. Uh, since he was a disappointment with all those missed field goals, Stop. we had Carolina uh, with Stop Darnold throwing the interception in the last two minutes of the game. Uh, <laughs> but no worries, y'all. No worries. This is what we here for. This is what we do. Hold y'all heads. We're going to try to bounce back this week and get y'all some good video picks, okay? We ready. We ready. We ready this week. <laughs> so our overall video picks are now 17-9. and nine. We are 11-6 and six against the spread. We are 5-2 and two, uh, ATS. Um... Look, we in right. here. We still in here. We fight. We it's battle. Not, we got a nice bad. little record. We good. We good. We will keep it going. Let's build. Let's build. We still in here, y'all. We still in the game, y'all. So, look. Okay. So, Minnesota versus Carolina is our first play, y'all. Love Minnesota in this one. The line opened up favoring Carolina minus three. It's now Minnesota minus one. All right. This line has been on the move. It's It's been, it's been, it's, it's been moving in Minnesota's direction since, you know, since it opened up. So, um, the injury report plays a lot uh, in this line fluctuation, you guys. We waiting on the return of the backs. We waiting on Dalvin Cook. We waiting on backs. McCaffrey. We trying to see. We turn of the backs, y'all. This is the return of the backs in this game. Yeah, so. I like what you did. <laughs> so the injury report plays a big role in this line movement, y'all. We could see it go back to even or um, uh, a pick em. You know, if McCaffrey's in the game, we might see that line move back towards uh, Carolina's way, you guys. So watch out for this line, but I like it. Uh, Sam Darnold looked terrible last game. I don't know what was going on with Sam Darnold. Like he back in New York. Man, throwing an interception in the final two minutes, as I mentioned before, it was just a catastrophe. Uh, they let Philly come back in and beat them at home last week. So they were upset last week. Um, okay, Minnesota didn't do too well themselves last week, you guys. Uh, they barely walked away with that win against Detroit last week at home. So. How good are these two teams, and how do they match up, Lex? What you got? Then we got two really good teams. It's just the difference between the teams are uh, the youth. I think Carolina is just still young. They're still trying to figure out how to win. Matt Rule coming from college, I think he's still trying to figure out how to win. Um, I would love it if I would love Carolina if McCaffrey was coming back, and you know, and uh, they didn't lose that tough game like that. But uh, I think Minnesota. They, uh, with Kirk Cousins and Thielen and Jefferson and now Cook returning, they look like they're prime and ready for a nice uh, run. I can look at them getting a win here, going to that bye, prepare for a, a big matchup coming up after the bye. I, I can see Minnesota getting ready to go for a run. Look for Thielen and Jefferson and Cook and them to uh, look a lot better than they did last week in a disappointing yeah, nail biting victory against the Lions last week. Yeah, it, it, it made no sense, but no. <laughs> we never know what to expect from Detroit. And then after that heartfelt message that uh, Campbell left, that's kind of like, uh, next game. <laughs> <laughs> next game we got for you guys is the Chargers versus, uh, versus the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, this line opened up Baltimore minus five and a half, and now it's like minus three. Or you can get some minus two and a halves around there. Uh, it depends on what you like. You know what I'm saying? You can shop around. Different books have different numbers. But we like the Chargers. So if you can find a plus three, if you're lucky enough to find a plus three, grab it. All right. The Chargers managed a, a win last uh, week against uh, Cleveland at home. Um, that was a tough game. And based on this point spread, we can still see that the Chargers are still underrated. Mm -hmm. Nobody's believing that they're as good as we say they are. We've been on the Chargers just like we've been on Dallas. And um, I think the Chargers is one of the best Jay teams Herbo. in the league, you guys. Uh, while Baltimore fought their way back in that game against the Colts Monday night, oh, boy. Uh, they went into OT and managed to come out with a win. Thank goodness. Don't know what was really going on. But the critics are saying that the Chargers' run defense is not up to par and that Baltimore should be able to run on this defense. What do you think? Can they contain Lamar Jackson? Will Baltimore be able to run? Or what do we look at here? I think as far as them, uh, teams running on them, that's true. But I think it's more of a scheme. Take away the pass and shorten up the, you know, don't give you the big plays and quick drives, make you get all the way down there. And when you get that condensed field and the reds on, they shut you down or they force a turnover. 
Chargers are very underrated. This probably will be the last time we will see them as uh, dogs this season. This team is stacked. You got a young gun and Jay Herbo, I'll call him. Got the mm. hair coming out the back of the helmet. Jay Herbo, <laughs> you know, them second year quarterbacks, they, they, you know, in that year two, they go for that that big leap to get that MVP. You seen Lamar do it, you seen Mahomes do it recently. So um, I like I like the Chargers here. I, like, I think they match up perfect with them. I think you can throw Derwin James on Andrews. You can throw Chris Harris or Santi Samuel Jr. over on Hollywood Brown. I think I think the Andrews finally uh, mount up on uh, Baltimore. And I think the Chargers take it. I, call. Yeah. I love the Chargers there too. But I like the Chargers. First of the party is, is back in the Chargers, you guys. Let's with get the points. It. Let's All get right. it. We gonna see who's overrated, who's underrated. Hey, Baltimore ain't really playing. Jay Herbo. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I, I think Baltimore's been overrated. That's just my opinion, y'all. But anyway, moving on. We got Arizona versus Cleveland. I know everybody wanna talk about this game. This line opened up Cleveland minus mm. four and a half. It's now down mm. to minus three. Um, it was minus three. Now we're seeing some minus three and a half that's going on right there, you guys. And that's real tempting for that Arizona getting plus three in the hook. Ugh. Ugh. So, Arizona is the only undefeated team left in the league, you guys. Um, they're coming off a win against San Francisco. Now they travel to Cleveland, and they're off a win. I'm sorry, Cleveland's off that loss to the Chargers that we just talked about. Uh, how do you rate this matchup, Lex? And what do you think about the under, too? The under is like 50, I think, this it, game. This Total is, is 50. This is a big game, and I think a lot of people go look at this and, and see the chart. I mean, see the uh, – the Cardinals and think that high explosive uh, offense, and they go say, okay, they go score points, and then you go see uh, what the what the Browns did last game, putting up 42 points in LA against the Chargers, and they go say, okay, there it is, it'll go to over. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the key. I think the key to their success for the Browns, because I like the Browns in this game, run the ball, keep that defense off the field because you got some banged up players over there. Probably it's that your stars playing, but the best way to keep them fresh is to hey run that ball, run that ball, and you know Baker Mayfield been hearing a lot of this stuff, hearing a lot of trash about him not getting a contract, gonna be hearing a lot of trade rooms about Odell. I don't think Odell move. I think they go get Odell involved, and I think eventually Baker he gets he gets it together to where he can get everybody involved and play the complete game. Um, tough loss last week on the road. They come back home, get some home cooking, see them take care of home and. And get Arizona their first loss. Also, keep it up under that total too. So I like them to run the ball, run that clock. Nice little dub here for the for the for the Cleveland Brownies in a dog pound. Mm -hmm. I think they're ready for it, especially after that loss last week. Um, that game was close between the Chargers and Cleveland, and I think that Cleveland is going to be the bounce back here. So if you was on Cleveland last week to to cover that plus two and a half or that plus two, and they disappointed you. Come on back onto this train. This Cleveland train this week with first of the party, y'all, because we're going to take Cleveland minus the points, okay? We're not scared here. We're not scared of Arizona here, y'all. All right, so jump on that Cleveland pick with us. Jump Look. right in front of them. <laughs> we're going to get a little Yoda. You know, we, we're going to give them some peace. Now, they yeah. going to give them hell. Cleveland going to give them hell. Yeah. So yeah. look, the next game we want to yeah. discuss is Kansas City versus Washington. Now, speaking of disappointing losses and bad beats, uh, Washington did us dirty. But you know what? You live and you learn, y'all. New Orleans Saints is going. To, uh, New Orleans Saints is going into their bye week, and they were in a good spot, especially after they had got upset. So bad beat. All right, but moving on. Kansas City versus Washington. We looking forward to Kansas City showing up. Mm. Um, a lot of people are taking Kansas City and their Caesar, just teasing them down. That line opened up Kansas City minus six and a half. It's still minus six and a half. Um, both of these teams are two and three against the spread. You guys, I'm sorry, two and three straight up. One and four against the spread. That's what they are. And we all watched Kansas City in prime time Sunday night get beaten brutally by the Bills. Uh, it wasn't a close game. And then Washington laid down as well to uh, the Saints, like as we stated previously. Obviously, both teams are going to be able to score on each other. N neither one of these defenses are good. What do you think about that, Lex? Will Washington be able to keep the pace with Kansas City? We know that Kansas City gives up points, but can Haneke – get his team together enough to be able to score with Kansas City? Um, a lot of people have been talking about the defense of Kansas City saying, oh, it's the worst, and it's such an issue. It's always been an issue. Um, we got to remember, they've been playing some really good teams, a very tough schedule. You know, they just played uh, Buffalo. They didn't play the Chargers. They didn't play the Browns. They didn't they go get everybody's best shot. 
think it's time to just relax, pump the brakes. And this is the type of team that Kansas City can use to get back on track. Last week, they played last week without Javaris Ward and without Chris Jones. Hopefully, both of those guys will be back. But I think that um, they get the attack going in the air, get Tyreek loose. Might be missing a little bit of practice. But I think they can get loose, get Kelsey going, and get Mahomes' mojo back. I like I like KC. So you like KC? Yeah. I like KC, too. I just don't, I, you know, neither one of these teams have been covering. Kansas City just got that. Uh, we do not like to cover for mm. you guys mm. at all. Like, they do what they want to do, obviously. Yeah, they don't. So laying six and a half on the road for me, it's just like, ah. I really, really don't want to do it. But I feel like, I feel like this could be that bounce back spot for Kansas City. While everybody's down on them after their primetime showing, it's time to jump back on the Kansas City bandwagon and um, support them and get paid off of them because this is like the same – it, it reminds me of when they played Philly. And the Philly line was like Kansas City minus seven, and everybody was like uh, kind of off of them because they had just lost in the prime time, I think, to uh, – was it Baltimore? Baltimore had beat them yeah. in OT or, or – Yeah, like and then everybody was like, oh, no, we not ready with Kansas City. In the, in their zone. Yep, and then Kansas Trip. City was able to go into Philly, just like they're going into Washington, mm -hmm. and they beat Philly by like 10. So I think I like the Kansas City pick, you guys. If y'all if y'all was wondering, if you was thinking about Kansas City, know that first of the party backs y'all, so they owe don't us. be afraid to jump on them. They owe, they owe me. They owe me too, and we about to get paid off of y'all. <laughs> All right, next, thing, next game that we wanted to talk about was the Cincinnati-Detroit game. Now, y'all know we Detroit fans, and... It's just all bad. I know y'all see my eyes. I know y'all think I'm tired. My eyes, but I've been crying. With Campbell, we've been crying. With Coach Campbell, we've been crying, y'all. I feel your pain. We've been crying with him. <laughs> nah, that, 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 I live that here. win, we knew that win was about to happen last week. I wasn't tricked. Mm -hmm. I, I knew it was too much time on the clock, and Minnesota mm -hmm. was able to come back in and get that um that win, but not the cover. Detroit did cover I last thought we week. had it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> So, I like this game to go under. We're not going to be on the side. I think Cincy probably is the right side, though. Yeah. If you were, if you were thinking about playing this game, I think Cincy would be the side. Yeah. Um, and I might take him personally or whatever, but I'm not giving him out as a pick. But <laughs> if you if you if you're looking at this game, I think Cincy is the side. But under 47 and a half is where we're leaning. I'm not sure Detroit does too much right here, you guys. I think their spot is going to be next week in LA against the Rams. Remember that y'all heard it here. I think that'll be their spot. Yeah. Um, golf I, might going back. I might play some Adele. I mean, golf, <laughs> golf going back to uh, L.A. and um, seeing, uh, you know, his family out there. And then Matthew Stafford, welcome the Lions to L.A. That's going to be a game where I think the uh, Detroit might go in there and cover. It'll probably be like 13 or 14, something high, because I, I feel like Detroit loses here. And um, I like this game uh, with Cincinnati Detroit to stay under the total. Um, Cincinnati's defense, I think that Cincinnati's just going to control the tempo of this game, and Detroit is going to look like Detroit for real this week, you guys. I don't think they do so much, even even at home right here. It's, I don't think it's a good spot for Detroit. I can see, I can see, uh, see Detroit been playing tough. The coach, the coach, the coach crying, and uh, I think it, I think the team got behind them with that. Hopefully they will. Mm -hmm. um, what I see is a lot of run running the ball. I think Detroit knows their identity now, and I think they know that, hey, we need to run the ball a little bit more. We need to get these guys some more touches. Running the ball and, in Cincinnati? Yeah, they, I, think, I think they'll try to run the ball, and, Good, I, and I think that'll keep the under the low because that'll run the clock. And I think Joe Mixon can run the ball over there in Cincinnati against us. Uh, Detroit's been playing some uh, solid defense as far as points with the Ravens and the, and the San Francisco 49ers. Held them, you know, up under 20 so uh, i could see something similar they held uh minnesota last week up under 20 so um i could look for see for, look for detroit to play tough and do the little dirty scrappy things but give us some big plays here and there but try to force some threes mm -hmm. so uh detroit cincinnati in the ugly nasty game in detroit field <laughs> goals everywhere fumbles and turnovers we under 47 let's go it's looking like a typical game in Detroit. yeah yeah funny <laughs> sounds shit. pretty common out there a in lot Detroit. Of funny shit oh boy lord have mercy Damn. on our souls all right y'all good luck with that game as well if y'all on that game I, i'm not really I, I don't know if i'm racing to the window we in detroit baby Vinci is like where i lean <laughs> i like joe burrow you gotta like, you gotta throw yeah, he went to the hospital at the last game. Kill, 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 kill. 
you're gonna be killing I'm killing ass I'm anyway <laughs> so the next game this is a personal pick you guys i know last week i had gave you a couple of personal plays that wasn't really official i think it was like the over on the past game and that hit and then um was it another one i gave out i don't know I don't know, but I like this Miami Jags game in London, you guys. Oh, shit. Um, I like the Jags to cover it and possibly get their first win in the season right here. What do you think about this game? Dirty Urban Meyer get his first dub. <laughs> I think so. He's a slime ball, man. He would do this. He would capitalize off John Gruden. John Gruden is in the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's taking yeah, some yeah, attention yeah. off of his slime ball ass. Slime. And <laughs> another way you can capitalize off of it? Go over to London in front of the good old folks, Mike. And you go over there, and you go over there, and you get a dub. And you say, I get my first win. Trevor Lawrence is happy. <laughs> Come on back to America and get your ass kicked. But I think you go over there and get the attention off of you. Nobody's talking about Irvin and everything yeah. he was doing and the little profit with the young lady. Oh, my goodness. You We're know? not going to speak on that here. They're children. They're yeah, children. you only got a couple weeks, motherfucker. <laughs> get some emails on YouTube. Look, y'all, I like the Jags in London. This is the last game of the season in London, I believe. I believe this is the last game that we're going to have in London. So Showcase. I think Come they on, go Trev. out with a bang. I like the over two, you guys. I think it's like 47. Is it 49? 47, 48, and a 49. I like the over. I like for it to be showtime out there. Trevor Lawrence to be able to show that he's, you know, the number young, one overall The young game. guns. The young guns will get, yeah. get going. You can see uh, the Waddle. Two will be back. Right? I mean, Jaseki and the Waddle. They might get loose, but you're going to see Trevor Lawrence. So, I am number yeah. one. I think they win here. Sunshine. I like that three and a half, guys. That's just me personally. Come on, Sunshine. Know, I just had to throw that out here because it was something I was really feeling. And I know Lex is really feeling something. He really, really, really likes Green Bay. That That's your personal play? Come on, Aaron. I go Green against Bay. you a lot, man. But I think him and, and Devontae, Chicago. they take care of business this week. Chicago capitalized off Gruden, man. It was more it was more of the Gruden in, in, in Vegas than Chicago. We got to remember, Matt Nagy, a, he's a slime ball. He doesn't know how to coach. He's trying to get Justin Fields killed. Oh Justin Fields God. was taking so many hits last week. I just think that this is the spot where Green Bay, they take, they always do this. They capitalize off, off inferior talent. And uh, against the teams they should have beat, they beat them. So I think Aaron Rodgers and them boys look like Aaron Rodgers and them boys, and they take care of business. I also like Dallas. Yeah, Green Bay is in Chicago, too, you guys, just to mention that. This could be his last game in Soldier Field. <laughs> it could be. And that line is minus four and a half. Right a now. Or minus five. I think it's minus five line. Green Bay minus five, you guys, in Chicago. Lex likes that one. I like that one. Okay. So, look, those are going to be our plays. We're going to give Dallas. you our official video picks. I like Dallas, too, man. Jerry. <laughs> is you Jerry. Good? How about them Cowboys? Hey. I like y'all, man. Been on that I like y'all a little bit, man. That Trayvon Diggs is special, too. That's my John Gruden voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So our official video picks are going to be this week. Minnesota. We're going to be laying at one in Carolina, taking Minnesota. I'm riding them all the way to the bank, y'all. I love Minnesota. We love Minnesota. Come First on, the party. The Chargers, plus three, plus any Jay points Herbo. you can get them, you guys. Take the Chargers against Baltimore. My boy, powerful pound okay. back there, Eckler. <laughs> and we like Cleveland minus the points. Cleveland minus two and a half. Ooh, Cleveland ooh, minus ooh, three. Ooh, ooh. Dog pound. Come on, Dell. We got them at Cleveland minus three, you guys. So Baker May, uh, let's go. take that Cleveland pick. And we also like the under. Cleveland under 50, okay? And we also like Cincy versus Detroit under 47 and a half. All right, so those are our official picks. We love you guys, and we thank you guys for the support. Coming to watch our channel and kick it with us and chill with us. We love you guys, and we wish you good luck on y'all picks. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe. And look, comment. I want y'all to comment on the plays that y'all got for this week. I want y'all to comment and let us know. Say, hey, y'all done discuss this game. What do y'all think about this game? Hey. Because we might be able to just tell y'all what we're leaning on certain games. Put that in the comments below. Say, hey, Jelly. What you think about that, uh, let's see, what game we didn't discuss? Dallas. That Vegas, uh, Denver game. Right? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Fine what you think about that? Ready. It's a lot going on in Vegas, dude. A lot going on over there, man. But comment below if y'all want to know. All right? So, <laughs> it's been real. Bars from Big Facts, man. She cutting up. It's been real, real fun. Watch All right? <laughs> it's Watch your girl, time. Jelly, and your boy. Big Facts, hey. John Groove. It's your boy Lex. <laughs> hey, it's your boy John Groove, man. 
And thank y'all for tuning in with us the first of the party. We'll holler at his y'all. ass. What you got to say, babe? Take it away. Hey, grab that brick over there so we can break this chain. Like we broke John Gruden ass. <laughs> Hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is he good? Cook your Peace ass. and blessings, you guys. Good luck on y'all picks. Big stats. Big stats. Big stats. Big stats. Big stats.